President Trump touting what uh, he says are two key highlights outside of taxes with the bill today, the repeal of Obamacare, the individual mandate, and opening up the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge, also known, of course, as ANWR, for oil drilling. Here to discuss Ron Christie, former special assistant to President George W. Bush and CEO and founder of Christie Strategies, along with Christopher Bedford, editor-in-chief of the Daily Caller News Foundation. Christopher, let me start with you. Uh, according to CBO, removing the individual mandate could ultimately mean 13 million fewer people buy health insurance. Uh, it's going to be a big economic shot in the arm for the economy and for people who couldn't who could not afford it. They were being punished because they couldn't afford uh, insurance that wasn't even a might fit for them. But there's going to be another side of that argument as well. Well, it's, and it's kind of alpha what the Republicans have done here when they say, OK, if you want to call the individual mandate a tax, then we'll repeal it like it's a tax. And the CBO, I think, is not necessarily giving enough credit to Americans. They're being a little bit dire on this one. I mean, these 13 million Americans will now have a choice to make if they want to get their coverage or, or if they want to get taxed by the government or fined by the government, as conservatives have said, for not, doing the, uh, not for, uh, pursuing health insurance options. That gives them the freedom to choose, and there will be incentives for people to choose outside of just <coughs> penalties. So I think that this is a good thing for Republicans, but Republicans shouldn't celebrate too much. And President Donald Trump, I think, went a little far, too far today when he said we've basically repealed Obamacare. Obamacare is still a massive program. It's still in, 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 in effect all over the country, and the individual mandate is just one key a portion of it. Right. But of course, Ryan, it's a very critical part of it. And, you know, and, and some folks are out there saying that uh, perhaps the Republicans are slowly strangling this, uh, this bill or letting it hang out there to dry. What are, you, what are your thoughts on this? Well, good evening, Charles. As it relates to the individual mandate, I think this is an excellent move for the American people. With Obamacare, you saw for the first time in American history that the government came in and said, you know what, America, you have to buy this good or this service because we say so. There's something about liberty. There's something about freedom. And I think what we found in this tax bill, there are certainly aspects of it that I don't like, but it's comprehensive, it's sweeping, it's the biggest tax piece of legislation we've seen in 30-some-odd years. And most importantly, it delivers on a promise that the president and the Republicans said, if you give us the honor, the power, and the right. uh, really ability to lead, we will lead. And this was a very, very strong step forward. Earlier today, we got the inventory numbers out from the EIA, and one of the key components of that showed that uh, we're near almost 10 million barrels a day in America. This is the most oil we've ever been able to drill. Uh, Ron, you were there in the midst of the fight over Anwar that Republicans lost time after time. How critical is that for not only energy independence, but economic independence and security independence? This is huge, Charles. This was a battle that I was dealing with back in the 1990s when I worked for then Chairman John Kasich at the Budget Committee. This will open up and really stimulate the economy, not only in Alaska, but it will significantly reduce our dependence on foreign oil. At a time that we're talking about national security issues, economic security is also key here, Charles. And this move with this bill and this provision right. is going to stimulate the economy and make it a lot safer for America to really have a strong sense of oil supply. Chris, what's your sentiment now going forward with the Republicans? They've obviously got a wind in their sails. How do they go from here? They've got to win in their sales, but keep in mind that the Democrats and liberals and activists are going to fight them tooth and nail this entire time. For example, they did just open up Anwar. That's a huge move. It's been a battle going on between Alaskans and liberal activists for four decades. But don't expect them to start drilling there tomorrow. Don't expect them to start being able to pull that millions and millions of barrels, billions of barrels of oil out of there because right now uh, they're going to be tied up in lawsuits by the left. The left is going to counterattack pretty viciously. They're going to try and hold it up, and they're going to do as much red tape as possible. But this is Donald Trump ending his year on a very good note. He's done, he's done Anwar, which has been a Republican want for, for decades. He's repealed the individual mandate, which they weren't able to do. And he's passed tax reform that will likely last for decades. The corporate tax rate will probably yeah. never go back to where and it was. And, of course, al along the way, he's changed the perception that he's a, sort of a duck uh, out of water in Washington, D.C., <laughs> looks like he's learning. Uh, look like he's learning how to, to play the game, but he's also bringing his own skill set as well. Gentlemen, thank you both very much.